Martina and Jen here with your conditions update from the South Rockies. Over the last few weeks, we've had pretty low avalanche hazard, allowing us to push into committing avalanche terrain with minimal concerns. Then yesterday, on March 10th, we noticed a significant change. Although it certainly wasn't the first warm and sunny day our snowpack had seen, the March sun had quite a kick to it and freezing levels climbed high, with us experiencing above freezing temperatures at 2,500 meters. As we hiked up a south-facing slope at Treeline, we started to notice signs of instability like woomphing, which is the sound of the snowpack collapsing on a weak layer. This prompted us to reassess our plan, and we decided to dig down and check for weak layers. We found the entire snowpack had lost strength and was wet or moist all the way to the ground. Our test results suggested there was potential for human-triggered avalanches. We also noticed recent loose wet avalanches had been running on sunny slopes. All these signs made us decide to stick to more conservative, low angle terrain as we made our way to ridge top. Most aspects had been affected by the warming to some degree and only direct north slopes still had dry snow. A few feet from gaining the ridge, we felt another big wumph crossing a hard wind slab. We were happy we'd stuck to low angle terrain as this may have resulted in an avalanche somewhere steeper. We were cautious traveling in areas where we suspected cornices existed and used a probe to make sure we were still on solid ground when approaching edges. Finding yourself waist deep in wet snow is a good sign the snowpack has lost its strength and may be more likely to avalanche. With a combination of warm temperatures, sun, and even rain in the forecast, check avalanche.ca for the most up-to-date avalanche conditions, travel advice, and mountain weather forecast.